What does it really mean to seek God first? This is a popular scripture that we all do read in Matthew chapter 6, which says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, I want to share some truth from this scripture to you in today's video. What does it really mean to seek God first? Does it mean God is A, then later you can go to B, C, and D? God is the first option. No, it says above all else. First means in rank, God is the priority. In order, God is the priority. It is not God and something else. It's not God and me. It is not God and you. It is not God and the person you feel like could help you. And neither is it like, let me seek God first so that God can then give me other things that I need. Because sometimes we try to play game. Like, let's be real. Sometimes we really try to play game. And we are like, since scripture says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all other things shall be added unto you. So we go into it as if it's a game. Let me seek God first with the mindset so that other things shall be added unto you. But that is not the way God wants you to look at it. Because when he says seek him first, it means all you seek as your priority, as the principal thing for you is him. And it means if I don't have every other thing, I am good. It means if God is the only one that I get to have, then I am okay. You need to come to that place in your faith. And that's the place of maturity. You don't wake up to that place. Now in the scriptures, the verses leading down to that verse gives context to this because that verse is kind of like a continuation of what Christ said. Let's read from verse 31 and see what it says. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Now, these are the needs of every human, like what to eat, what to drink, what to wear. And I could add there, wear to live. The needs of every human being is these things and even more, like the needs. These things, need means these are the things that you cannot live without. But when you talk about your ambitions and the wants, those are just aesthetics. Those are added like the icing on the cake. But the main cake is, let me get food to eat. Let me have what to drink. Let me have clothes to put on my body. Let me have a shelter to put my head. Then all other things are like secondary. And Christ said, for after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. So all these things you are rambling about, Sorry to use the word rambling, but that's what we do most of the time. All these things, God knows all about it. And he wants to provide us with all these things that we need. But first of all, he's saying, seek first my kingdom. What is God's kingdom? To define that shortly, it means God's rulership. God's reign of having dominion. Like it talks about royalty. So when you're seeking God's kingdom, it's not like saying my goal is heaven. I'm waiting to go to the kingdom of God to meet with God. That is our destination. That's what we all desire. That Christ is going to prepare a place for us. But this scripture is not referring to that. This scripture says, in your daily work as we are living right now, seek my kingdom, which is seek my rule in your life. Like scriptures in Proverbs affirms that, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path, which is trust in the Lord with all your hearts. And Christ is saying here, when you seek me, my rulership in your life, when you see me as your Lord in this kingdom, it means you are seeking my kingdom. In your daily life, in your work, in your decisions, to whether to marry or your career or whatever thing you are deciding on, you are like, God, I need your rulership. I need your rule to be the preeminent and the prominent thing in this decision that I'm making, then you are seeking God's kingdom. And his righteousness speaks to the aspects of you saying, I am not righteous by myself. Scripture says our righteousness are like filthy rags. They are not worth anything. But then we cannot be righteous by ourselves. So God did not say, seek first my kingdom or seek me first and then have righteousness of yourself. He said, no, seek my righteousness. This speaks to the justification by faith that Paul Apostle preached, the gospel of the grace of God, the gospel of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That says that because Christ died 
and paid the penalty for our sins, we have become righteous because he took our place as sinners. The divine substitution, the divine exchange had happened because he became our sin, not by committing sin. We become his righteousness, not by our good works, but by believing him. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> so it's beautiful for you to know that God is saying, I have made all this easy for you. Seek first my rulership in your life, the realm whereby in your life you allow God's will to take preeminence. Like Christ prayed the prayer, not as I will, but your will be done. And my righteousness, that you know that trying to walk to become righteous on your own, it is just like, you know, you're walking in vain because it is a walk that may not get anywhere. But you living to know, I'm not trying to get righteous. Christ has already made me righteous. My righteousness is in him. Seek first his righteousness. And that scripture says all these things, your needs will be added. So now these are like bonuses. The bonus of you enjoying God's rulership in your life. The bonus of you fellowshipping with God. The bonus of you knowing that you are righteous in God. That is a bonus that it gives you what to wear. If you want to wear extravagant things, he can make that happen. If you want to drive the latest car, he can give you that. You want to go to the orphanage and offer help, he can give you that. And I'm not against the aspect of saying if a Christian wants to dress good, that he should wear cheap clothes in the name of I'm serving God. I am not of that, but that's not where I'm going to. All I'm trying to point out here is for you to know as a believer, following Christ Jesus, you following God is not as a means to an end. You're not using God as a means to an end. Let me seek first his kingdom so that God can add other things. But you're seeking him wholly from your heart and knowing that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, that he will surely reward you for seeking him. And you're not seeking him for his good. You're seeking him for your good. But God is so kind that you are seeking him for your good and yet he rewards you for seeking him for your good. Because when you seek him for your good, why does he reward you? You are making him feel like God. He doesn't need to feel that. He doesn't need us to believe in him for him to feel like God. But you acknowledging him that he is God by seeking him, by going to him, by inquiring of him, by knowing that he is God, that blesses him. That makes him smile. Amen. So this is the thing. God did not promise to give you everything you want, but he promised to give you everything you need. Now, he wants to give you all you need. Now, let me explain this. What do you need? Somehow, some of us do not even know what we need. Just like every human has need of water, of air, of food for survival, of shelter, etc. Those are the basic needs of every human. Those are your primary needs in life naturally spiritually and based on the purpose of god on your life god knows what you need which is what you need is what he wants for you not what you want for you and i want to repeat that what you truly need is what god wants for you not what you want for you that is why he says seek first my kingdom my rulership in your life on the earth in everything you do because that is where what i want for you will be expressed not what you want for you because your need is embedded in the purpose of God for your life. And when you walk in purpose, that is where the need for your fulfillment is met. Because you can go around trying to do other things to get fulfilled and never get fulfilled. Now, these are the three things you need to know as I'm closing. God knows your needs and he wants to meet your needs and provide your needs and make you walk in purpose. Secondly, God will meet your needs. He is willing and he wants you to seek him and seek his kingdom. Seek his rulership over your life. Demand that God will rule over your life. Demand that God will rule over your emotions. Demand that God will rule over your knowledge of what you think life is. That is seeking the kingdom of God. And then, lastly, trust God alone. And this is what it means to seek God first. It is about you coming to a place of, God, I want you to rule over my life. I want to live in a realm where everything I do is controlled and directed by you. 
amen thank you so much for watching today's video i am om this is my youtube channel it will be such a pleasure to have you subscribe and like and share this video to everyone that would need to see it your friends they need this video and thank you for sharing already i would like to see you in my next youtube video so i hope that you click the next video and watch also that's your simplest way of supporting me to watch the video and subscribe and share thank you and god bless bye bye